right now, I'm going to ask this AI the same question multiple times. Watch what happens. Same model, same prompt, completely different responses. This isn't a bug. It's the fundamental nature of AI. And today you learn to control it. The reason for that randomness is a hidden control panel. And the most important dial is temperature. Think of it as a creativity thermostat. But to really understand what this dial does, we need to look under the hood at how an AI chooses its next word. Imagine we prompt the AI with the sky is. Internally, the model calculates a confidence score called a logit for every possible next word. Blue gets a very high score, Azure gets a medium score, and singing gets a very, very low score. At temperature zero, it's a winner. Take all scenario. The model ignores all other options and will always pick the word with the highest score. It's deterministic and reliable, but can be boringly repetitive. But when we increase the temperature, something fascinating happens. The math flattens the probability distribution. It reduces the model's confidence in the top choice and gives the long shot creative words a fighting chance. Suddenly, Azure, Cloudy, or even Infinite become real possibilities. For the technically curious, here's the formula. Temperature T divides the logits before the softmax function turns them into the final probabilities. A lower temperature makes the differences in scores extreme. A higher temperature makes them more even. You don't need to memorize it. Just know that's the powerful mechanism at work. Okay, enough theory. Let's see this in action. Remember our demo? When we set the temperature to zero, we got the winner take all result every time. Two plus two equals four. This is perfect for factual tasks. But when we crank the temperature up, we flattened that distribution giving those more creative and sometimes chaotic responses a chance to be chosen. This is how you match the setting to your task. Temperature isn't your only tool. For even finer control, we have top P, which acts like a focus dial. While temperature reshuffles the probabilities of all words, top P creates an elite shortlist of candidates before the dice are even rolled. Here's how it works. The AI lists all possible next words by probability from highest to lowest. It then adds up their probabilities until it reaches a threshold you define. For example, 90% or 0.9. Only the words within that cumulative probability group are considered. Let's go back to our the sky is example. Blue is 75%. Gray is 15% and cloudy is 8%. If we set top P to 0.9, the model adds blue 75% and gray 15%, which equals 90%. It hits the threshold and stops. The AI will now only choose between blue and gray. Cloudy and all the other less likely words are completely ignored, filtering out the noise. This is more dynamic than a similar method called top K, which just picks a fixed number of top words. Top P adapts. For a simple question, its shortlist might be two words. For a creative prompt, it could be hundreds. It's the smarter way to sample. You now have the complete toolkit. Temperature controls the shape of the probability curve, making it spiky for facts or flat for creativity. Top P controls the size of the word pool being considered. By combining them, you can move from being a simple user to being a true AI operator. Here's your playbook, so you now know how to control the randomness of an AI's response. But that raises a more fundamental question. Before you even start prompting, how do you know if your base model is any good? How can you mathematically measure if a model is genuinely smarter or more knowledgeable about your specific data? Next week, we'll answer that by diving into the single 
most important metric for measuring a model's predictive power, perplexity, you'll learn how to use it as a litmus test to quickly evaluate and compare base models, allowing you to make data-driven decisions and choose the most uh, efficient model for your project before you invest time and money into fine-tuning. Subscribe now so you don't miss the first and most critical tool in our AI evaluation playbook.